Welcome back to the Trogley's Guitar Show. Today we continue on our quest to find a way to visualize weight relief. Last December I bought a crazily powerful flashlight to test if we could shine a light through the instrument and see some sort of light shine through the guitar in a really dark room. It seems slightly possible on a ukulele, but once we threw it onto a full size guitar with a proper gloss finish on it, yeah, it didn't work. Imagine that. So today I decided to test another theory that commenters left. The Wallabot DIY. The Wallabot system, it's basically a stud finder. It'll work on drywall, it'll do concrete walls, and it helps you see inside the wall so you make sure you're not drilling into like an electrical wire or a water pipe. So will this device help us see weight relief in a guitar? I'm skeptical, but hey, might as well try it out, right? In order to do this test, on top of the Wallabot, I had to buy an Android phone that supported OTG USB on the go. For some reason, these things don't work with Apple phones. But I purchased a Motorola Moto X4 and it did work with this. The Wallabot itself just came in a bubble mailer. It's just a small little box. It's nothing too much to talk about here. Setting up the phone definitely took the longest for all of this, but once you get the app downloaded, the instructions are very clear. You just have this large plastic thing you basically just tape onto the back of your phone with this little gel pad, and then you have a little protective sheet on the outside to help you scan things. They give you two different wires, it just depends which one you need for your phone. At first I thought I just got the completely wrong phone, but I was definitely happy to find that the other cable was also included. So with that all set up, I decided to do a quick test run on one of my walls. Since this is a wall that I can readily see the backside of, I decided to test it on this one, and it does appear to work. So now it's the moment of truth. Will the Wallabot show us weight relief? Let's find out. So it says bright colored bars are detected objects. I can't really make anything out that would help us here. But that's in the pan mode. Let's try images. Because I think this is the one a lot of people thought would be helpful. So now we're scanning along here. And it seems like occasionally it'll pick up like the wiring from the three-way toggle switch down into the cavity routes. I'm not really sure what it's picking up right here because there really shouldn't be much of anything right there. So there's really no conclusive evidence that this will help us see weight relief on this particular Les Paul. The expert mode doesn't really appear to help us too much here either. Now I'm repeating the test here on something that I know has modern weight relief. That's the one that has the V shape and a bunch of little chambers here and there. So it's already been calibrated. And what I found interesting with this test, this is picking up the wire coming out of the pickup. But then what I thought was interesting that may be hopeful for this is right here it says it's a wooden stud. That's the area right between the two pickups. So in theory, this is slightly working to show us that, you know, right there is the solid part of the body. But once you get down here, that's the next pickup cavity. But unfortunately here, I'm not seeing anything. So it's either picking up the chambers within this instrument or it's not really working at all here. You can see it picks up a full wooden beam right here. So maybe, maybe this actually does work. So let's go ahead and grab something that I know doesn't have any weight relief at all. We've got my trusty Zoot Suit Les Paul here now. All right, so right here it's picking up the pickup itself. I'm thinking that's because this is a slightly thinner body. But unfortunately, I'm not seeing the wood stud here. It looks like it might be picking up a pickup wire somehow. 
not quite sure what it would be picking up right here because there's absolutely nothing there. So definitely does not seem to be helpful at all here. But let's go ahead and test one more full width Les Paul. Complete solid body Steve Howe's The Les Paul. So it looks like on this one all it can do is pick up the wires of the pickups. Unfortunately, not showing us what we want to see. So, unfortunately, no. It doesn't look like the Wallabot was the answer to visualize weight relief for the channel. But, if nothing else, it's another important documentation step so nobody else has to do the same thing. I kind of had my doubts on this one, but I thought, hey, we might as well try it just in case. I already knew this Les Paul was completely chambered out, and I did not see anything that would really help us determine if something is weight relieved or not. So, do you have any other ideas of how we can visualize weight relief? A few other interesting ideas from last time was using an infrared camera after bringing a warmed guitar into a cool room. In theory, the chambers would stay warmer than the outside of the instrument, which would show us the weight relief pattern. Another commenter suggested trying an ultrasound machine, which you can purchase on Amazon. And I can see that thumbnail and video title already. I would totally click on the video that says, I ultrasounded my guitar, here's what I found. But after doing some research, I'm not quite sure if that one would work. All right, thank you troglodytes for tuning in today, and hopefully one day we will solve this great mystery. Take care.